How's it going? I'm Paul. I'm going to show you today how I store my LiPo batteries. And I use these bat safe fireproof containers. So I was, I was always, I always charge my batteries in the basement because I like to tinker around and you know, work on, work on little projects or whatever. Why I'm charging, I don't really want to sit out in the garage <laughs> or outside for that matter. So I always, you know, I was kind of worried about them charging them in the basement. And I, you know, you always have, every time you get a battery, all the warnings on them, they tell you, you know, make sure you charge them outside, don't charge them in the house, don't do this, you know, always about the fire. You know, and I never really thought about it too much. I'm like, ah, you know, I didn't think they're that bad. But I actually, probably about over a year ago, you know, I hear about actual local fires like a house burning down from RC car batteries and I was like you know it's got me thinking I'm like man I just hate to you know burn my house down and and then shortly after that I actually for my job I was doing work at a, uh, a business and the place was was burnt down and you know and there, it's like a complete rehab so and I I started asking the you know, the owner of the place, you know, what actually happened. And it ended up being him and his son on the spare time flying RC planes. And he burnt down his business, you know, or not completely burnt down, but caused over $200,000 in damage to their business due to, <laughs> or due to lipo batteries. So it kind of just freaked me out, man, because I, I don't want to burn my house down. So I started looking into, you know, looking into, you know, the best way to store LiPo batteries. So I came across these, these, uh, bat safe containers and they're really a great idea. You know, before that I was doing, you know, a lot of the guys, you know, doing the, uh, ammo crates, you know, and that's fine. It probably will keep your house maybe from burning down. But the smoke damage will just destroy your home anyway. So this is a little better, and I'll show you what you know what I actually did too to you know to, to take it you know one step beyond. So this is pretty much what I have here. So I'll show you. These are the bat safe containers. I don't know if you guys are familiar with them. And recently I got them, it's probably been over a year or so. I got them from Hobby King. And they were on sale for like 50 bucks. And uh, I know, I think they might be a little more expensive now. And they, I know they make bigger ones as well. But, uh, and then, yeah, this is like my whole charging setup here. I just kind of, you know, and I ran the wires, you know, through, you know, just so I don't ever have to mess with them. And then I put my, you know, my balance balancing board in there and then I can just change out the plug depending on you know depending on whatever type of type of battery I'm using yeah and then see how it's vented so it ain't gonna be a bomb it's gonna relieve the pressure and filter the smoke so yeah if you're using the ammo crates you know yeah it's probably gonna you probably don't want to have the seal on them either if you do have them because it will be a bomb so you need to remove the seal on that but you're still going to get all the smoke which this is getting the smoke too but it's filtering it which if you look at look this company up there's a lot of videos on it to show you you know people actually setting fires to batteries inside these and they contain them really well and then it just the smoke just comes out of the top so it does work well, which I've seen. I think one of the videos, the guy had it, he put the box in a cardboard. He put this into a cardboard box and then put toilet paper around it and he set fire to it. And it didn't even set the toilet paper on fire. So it'll definitely save your house from going up in flames. But I ended up, you know, I still I'm like, okay, it's going to, keep my house from burning down but what about all the smoke damage so I took it a step further and I designed this hood I put an exhaust hood in 
and I have it I have the fan tied into the smoke alarm so if the smoke you know if this thing does set on fire start smoking excuse me it will it's gonna set off the alarm and then turn the fan on automatically and get rid of all the smoke and, and then I just vented it outside it's an 800 CFM fan, so this thing really cranks. And it's into an 8-inch round. I think I got it on Amazon. And then I, I did do a bypass, too. I put it on a switch. So if I'm down here, if anything, if for some reason I ever seen anything burning, trust me, I ain't waiting for the smoke alarm to go off. I'm going to run and hit the switch and turn the fan on. But it will do it automatically. And I will edit in a video, because I did do a... I did do a test to see if everything worked. I I set up a smoke bomb on top here. You know, it's actually a smoke bomb for testing kitchen hoods. You know, for the fire department. Testing if you have any leaks in your in your black iron. And and I'll I'll edit in a video to show you, but man, that thing worked awesome. So I feel real good about these. I can rest easy now that I don't feel like I'm going to burn my house down, you know, or destroy the house from smoke damage. So, because that really bothered me. I don't know. I just seeing, if you can Google that, or not Google, but, you know, YouTube it or whatever, you're going to see so many videos and different things of people destroying their homes with batteries. And it's just like, I, I don't know, it bothered me. So, this is my solution. And then I have them on a cart. So if I'm working down here and I want to move them out of the way and work on my bench, do my woodworking or whatever I'm doing. And, and then I just, when I'm charging them, I plug it in. I have them underneath here and I charge in these top two. And then I have other ones down here, you know, storing other batteries or anything I have with lipos. I, I store them in there just so, I don't know, it gives me a peace of mind. So, but yeah, I can turn the fan on and show you really quick. I did with a switch. I have that on a switch for you know a bypass switch but it will go off with the smoke alarm and, uh, that's pretty much it so yeah I'm gonna uh, I got some other few other ideas too I'm gonna put out some videos just a few things that I've I've done so if you guys uh, if you guys like the video subscribe please and uh, all right thank you